Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been given VVIP status for their upcoming visit the Netherlands for the Invictus Games this weekend, but apparently they won't be getting an official royal welcome. The army veteran and wife Duchess Meghan, along with their children Archie and Lilibet, are all expected to be at his proud creation of the Invictus Games in the Netherlands. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will not be given an audience with Netherlands King Willem Alexander, or be offered a room in the Royal Palace during their Invictus Games visit, but could be handed VIP status by Dutch police. Harry and Meghan are due to attend the opening ceremony of the Games in The Hague which begin on the 16th of April and run until the 22nd of April. According to a source who has revealed that, the Sussexes may have to be secured by their own team when they attend the event later this week. But last night Dutch authorities said, Harry and Meghan's private clothes protection officers cannot be armed if they travel to the country for the four day long games. While their team have also liaised with Dutch authorities and secured a high-level multi-agency protection program, sources have told the Mirror. But Harry and Meghan are likely to be given full protection by the Dutch police at the games as the King of the Netherlands, Willem Alexander, and his aunt, Princess Margriet, honorary chair of the recommendation committee of the Invictus Games, are both planning to attend. A source close to the Sussex camp said, Harry and Meghan have received absolute top assurances that there is no credible threat to their safety. The Dutch National Police's DKDB Royal and the Diplomatic Security Service will lead the protection of the pair. The royal couple were stripped of all royal responsibilities after quitting their senior roles, will not be staying with the Dutch royal family, and will not receive an audience with King Willem Alexander or Queen Maxima while they are in The Hague. The Sun reports that Meghan and Harry will not be greeted with a red carpet or royal reception upon their arrival, and will stay in a hotel instead of being hosted by the Dutch royal family. It also sounds like Meghan and Harry will be potentially traveling with Netflix documentary cameras, so we should get an inside look at their trip sometime in the future. It's not known if he will use his trip to the Netherlands to cross the channel to pay a visit to the Queen for her 96th birthday, on the 21st of April, or meet up with other family members. There are speculations that Prince Harry, who's all set to visit Netherlands for Invictus Games, has planned to visit the Queen during the event. Some think that Harry and Meghan may win big if they visit the Queen as it may help the couple reconcile with their own people who are all excited to see Lilibet and Archie. While there are many royal experts who believe and predict that, the Duke of Sussex, who will return to Europe from his Montecito mansion in for the Invictus Games in the Netherlands, will not come home to visit the Queen on her big day. It comes after Harry was absent from the Duke of Edinburgh's memorial service in London last month, amid a claim against the Home Office after being told he would no longer be given the same degree of personal protective security when visiting from the US, despite offering to pay for it himself. The Duke is suing the government with High Court papers revealing that he does not feel safe in Britain without armed security. He has called the decision to remove armed security unlawful and unfair. His legal team says Harry doesn't want to return to Britain with his children, Archie, 2, and 10-month-old Lilibet, because the police here will not let his private security team use guns or access security intelligence. But Di Davis, a former head of royal protection at Scotland Yard, said that, Harry is unable to come to the UK due to safety concerns is sheer unadulterated nonsense. Speaking about the security arrangements likely to be in place in the Netherlands, Mr. Davis continued, The truth is I have no doubt that he will be protected, whether he takes his own team or whether the Dutch authorities give him some kind of VIP status. The truth is, if there's a risk both countries, ours and the Netherlands, have sophisticated systems of determining risk. Thank you for watching our latest video about the royal family. We always try to regularly update the latest news videos about the British royal family to meet your requirements. Our channel always has an objective, multi-dimensional view of the news. My main goal is just to entertain people. Hope you enjoy this news. If you have any questions or requests about content to watch, please leave a comment below this video of us.